Hello everyone, welcome back to Lashes at Larry 7. This tune though, I'm gonna let you listen for a bit. Because this is an easter egg. Yeah, it's, I know it's country, but... Here we go. So if you do recognize this tune, you're a real true point and click adventure game connoisseur. Because this is the tune to Freddy Farkas. Freddy Farkas. Our um, lovely uh, Frontier Pharmacist. Which is another game that I have uh, on my to-do list. Might even play it after Lurch Larry 7. Not sure because I also want to play through the Monkey Island series. Um, there's a gazillion King's quests <laughs> that I have to do. Space quests, obviously. There's too many. Uh, Indiana Jones, uh, Last Crusade and Fate of Atlanta. There's too many. But this tune is a fun little Easter egg. The tune to Freddy Farkas, Frontier Pharmacist. Anyways, let's go and meet with these uh, baiting women. Girls, my name's Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Laffer? Oh, that's a funny little old name. I'll bet you're a funny little old fella too. Why well, don't you? Gee, <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> uh, say, don't I know you? Oh, probably. Yeah, you're famous, aren't you? Where the jugs? My name's Naomi, and this here's my daughter. Why don't you? So, you ever heard our records, Larry? Why don't you nail me? It's not very subtle. So, why are a couple of famous singers like you taking a cruise? Well, to be honest, Larry, fame can be a curse as well as a blessing. All that touring was just a wearing us out. Not to mention the fact that we can't show our faces in public again until the heat's off. Why don't you hush your mouth? <laughs> what did you do? Yeah, <laughs> your, your little General Lee driving Daisy Dukes of Hazard wearing girlies. Yeah. Now, um, let's see, I've uh, kind of forgotten. Which of you is the mother and which is the daughter? Oh, shucks, Larry. Ain't you the little flatterer? I'm why don't you's mama, don't you know? Of course, we are dang near the same age. I had her on my first ovulation. Heck yeah, I'm 19. And Mama's been 29 for at least five years. Why don't you? You are not funny. Hey, I've been 24 for at least a couple of years, too. I notice you both have really large um, hairstyles. Yeah, you like them? Well, they're sure uh, big. How do you get them that way? Now there, that's a little old showbiz secret. To get it really big, I like to hang upside down. Why don't you stop? And to keep the hairspray from sticking to your outfit, you just about gotta be butt naked. That's about enough, why don't you? That's actually too much, but uh, thanks for sharing. Yeah. Anytime. Are you, are you a bat? So, um, what kind of music do you sing? Both kinds. Country and Western. Ass kicking country Western. Why don't you? We don't use that kind of language no more. Sorry, Mama. Butt kicking. Now, see, was that so hard? You probably know our big hit. Big hair and tangled limbs. Uh, well, it, it doesn't ring a bell. What about, I got my panties round my ankles and pain round my heart? You know that one, don't you? Uh, it sure sounds like a Grammy winner. Oh, honey, it is. It is. When we finish that, there ain't a dry eye in the house. So just what kind of music do you listen to, anyway? Disco, ka-chunk, ka -chunk. You know, some folks say it's coming back. Well, I don't. But see, <laughs> I say it never left. You are a funny little fella. Hi, my name's Bill Gates. Ah, couldn't be. You're too geeky. Slam dunk score. Wait, Bill Gates is... Oh, never mind. You two must be performing here on the cruise. We weren't gonna at first. See, we're on vacation, don't you know? Yeah, we was just wanting a break from the pressures of fame. But our manager insists we keep our acts tight. So 
we decided to do one special shower for the fans, don't you know? God love them. What do you mean, till the heat's off? Oh, there was an unpleasant little inside end about a month ago. We was doing a benefit at a maximum security women's correctional facility. We was trying to give our poor sisters a chance to forget their troubles. It's always for the fans, don't you know? That, and our manager said it'd be a cheap way to shoot our new cable special, Caged Heat, Jugs Behind Bars. Why don't you? Who's telling the story anyway? Anyway, turns out that day we had a little trouble of fitting into our spandex costumes. See, Mama had been hitting them tour bus donuts again. Why don't you shush? Anyhow, you know, the show must go on. So I just had one of our roadies spray us down with some silicone lubricant. And we just slid right in. Hmm. Well, now, there's an interesting image. Anyhow, we had no idea those hot stage lights would trigger a chemical reaction between the spandex and that silicone lubricant. Hoo-hoo! That was something. It did cause a commotion. Oh, yeah. So, what happened? It's all kind of just a blur now. Let's just say after that, everywhere we went, we was accosted by tabloid photographers. <laughs> we was mauled. And once they aired that videotape on a Nashville affair, well, we just had to lay low for a while. So, here we are, just a soaking up some rays and a kicking back. Oh, what exactly happened? <laughs> any recordings I could listen to? You know, I'd love to give you an autographed copy of our latest CD. This jug's for you. But we left for this cruise in such a hurry, we only had time to grab a few lacy nothings off in the bus. Oh, that's okay. I far prefer the superior fidelity of A-Track. Say, <laughs> you are a funny little feller. What are you talking about, Larry? A-Tracks, those are really old. They <laughs> were even old when this game came out. So why do you wear spandex outfits if it caused you so much grief? For the fans, don't you know? Yep, it's always for the fans. And because it's my corseting action keeps mama out of them full fragrant sizes. Why don't you? That'll be enough. Did you just call your mom fat? That's not nice. They look so much alike they could be mother and daughter. They could be. This jug's for you. <laughs> The jugs are every bit as natural as their hair. Yeah, they're... They look so much alike they could be... Right. Well, it's been nice chatting with you. Be sure you catch our show in the lounge tonight. Will do. Y'all come back now, here. Absolutely. All right, so it's time to head into the kitchen, wherever that may be. Horseshoe competition. There we go. Oh my god, this looks disgusting. Your it's a fish wrapped in an old issue of Professional sure Hatch Slinger magazine. Oh, good. Your my subscription just ran out. Some chefs aren't comfortable cooking without the traditional French tools. Oh, hey, look who's there. Yeah, baby. Bump, 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 bump. Ooh, only five more left. Adds a new dimension to last night's swordfish dinner, eh, Larry? Mm. Yeah. They're actually fishing for fish there. That's pretty. What is that? No, not Fifi. Who's Fifi? These fish must not be very good. Huh? Why? They're working with a net. Oh my god, there's some caviar there. The Caviar Master 2000 is for those who like their eggs fishy yet fresh. Apparently, these fish were on the wrong side in the seafood revolution. There's a butt here. And you should never watch laws being made either. All right, can we? We can actually use that. Oh. Excuse me? That was custom. Nice pot. Thank you. In my college days, the judge gave me six months probation. We can actually pick that up. What is that? A cookie puss? Mm, cookie puss. Pfft. Cyber the cheese. Cyber cheese 2000. Just add ingredients and step way back. Okay, that sounds disgusting. 
This shaker contains only genuine sea salt, scraped from the hull of the ship before its annual hosing down. Okay, we can also pick Pass that up. The salt. And That's I bought. not funny. <laughs> okay, you try making the jokes all the time. And we can also pick that up. That fish has gone bad. How can you tell? Oh, the little things. The earring, the tattoo, the surly expression. Hey! Say, how about if I toss the fish and keep the magazine it's wrapped in? That's good. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, let's take a little look at the uh, magazine. Someone used this page from Professional Hash Slinger magazine to wrap old fish. Well, shouldn't that be a job for Professional Fish Wrapper magazine? You can smell it. This magazine page smells like fish, probably because it was once wrapped around one. This page contains the recipe for Venezuelan beaver cheese. The ingredients include beaver milk, as always, milk from the elusive Venezuelan beaver is much preferred. A pinch of salt, rennet, for which lime juice may be substituted in a pinch, and a hint of mold. Now for the details of preparation. Hey, you made a subiism. What? A subiism. You know, when you choose a word based on previous words, Okay, like you use the cliche in a pinch because you just finished saying the phrase pinch of salt. Get it? Damn, you're weird, Larry. Anyhow, there's more on the back of the page. Oh, you mean I have to click again just to hear the back? Oh, stop your whining. <laughs> Here, the back contains the recipe for Venezuelan beaver cheese and kumquat quiche. The ingredients include beaver cheese and a sliced kumquat. You probably don't want to hear the rest of this either, do you? We already have a kumquat. But now we need to make some cheese. Alright. It's time to get the ingredients. So we're gonna go to the... Um... Where are you? There. And let's go down. there hey hold it what do you think you're doing you can't go in there that's private well them women could be naked in there and the breast is swinging back and forth with the, the nipple thing and they could be hanging upside down again and well you just don't know all right oh sorry i was just looking for the head don't you talk that nautical talk to me bub i'm just a plain old country boy oh country all right let's talk to you then your hey, attention, Johnson. please. It's me. Lane Larry. has just won the new blindfolded hey, tattooing man. competition. Nice threads. Thank you. What, what does that look like in autograph? Johnson, the bartender, fits the old cliche, surly to bed, surly to rise. All right. So can I get a lime juice? Uh, excuse me, Johnson. I want a glass of lime juice. No. Why not? We don't serve just lime juice. And why not? Cause it ain't on the menu. Oh, it ain't, ain't it? Nope. And if it ain't on the menu, I ain't serving it. Well then, how about you make me a lime Ricky, Johnson? Is that on your menu? Yeah. Okay. One lime Ricky, coming up. But leave out the gin, okay? Okay. Virgin. And leave out the soda water, okay? Okay. And leave out the sugar, okay? Okay. And leave out the friggin' ice, okay? Why, you? And make it snappy. <laughs> well, Bugger up. That's our lime juice. Hey, can we also get a guy? Gigantic. Oh, yeah. uh, Johnson? That one. I want a gigantic erection. Well, talk to the captain, not me. No, I mean a drink. A cocktail? Oh, well, that'll take a while. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll, I'll wait. No problem. Yeah, goodbye. We're entering the door now. <laughs> All right. So, hey, Lou. Yeah, baby. All right. What is that? The jugs left a can of spray deodorant on their dressing table. 
Well, we, we got a different kind of thing, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we got a uh, can of silicone lubricant. Sneaky idea. The jugs will never notice. The two cans look almost identical. That's funny. Oh. The jugs have a karaoke stereo system with a collection of all their hit records backup tracks. They use it for practice as well as for some of these small time gigs. That way they needn't be bothered with hiring live musicians. Hey, can we? Boy, does that suck. I mean, can we? Yeah, we can play with it. Oh. It's definitely not my kind of music. Hey, it doesn't have the songs that they were talking about. Oh, God, no. That's jazzy. It's all a little bit jazzy. That's very sensual. Yeah, no. There we go. This button is unmarked. You With better not push it. You have no idea what can happen. I got a means that we're gonna push it. What a surprise! Your you test results are button. in. You hope nothing bad happens. All right, we can leave. Huh? Got away with another one. <laughs> Something happened. Ski hey, loser! Boo. You want this drink you ordered? I'll charge it to your room. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Hey, my banana's all soft and flaccid with little brown spots. Sorry, bud. I only do drinks. Oh. That came down. This is the follow spot used for stage shows. <laughs> hey. Hmm. Let me just ease this. Uh, whoops. Oops. Yeah, we need to replace that. We got another light bulb. That's a sneaky idea. The bulb fits. It's the right voltage, but won't it make the stage uncomfortably warm? Uh huh. It does. Uh, Johnson, can you make me another? Hey, Johnson. That one. Oh. Uh, no. Sure. I'll wait. I need to get back into the dressing room. There we go. Because we gotta press that again. Yep. Hey, loser. You yeah, 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 yeah. Give me the drink. Thanks. Sorry. All right, let's go and watch the show. It's gonna be fun. Zippity doo. for the unplugged part of our set. Who wants to play with our jugs? Wow. <laughs> Why, looky here, Mama, a volunteer. Howdy, buckaroo. <coughs> Pardon us while we whip these out. <gasps> hey, Johnson, how about some of that special lighting? Oh, boy, here we go. <laughs> Why don't you, honey? Is it hot in here? 
Oh, Mama, I'm a getting that feeling again. Oh, no. Grab it. Oh, my goodness. No, my clothing. <laughs> Larry, what are you doing? Surely I won't run into somebody this time. <sighs> what do you think? Oh, hello. Horrible, but we uh we got some more points. <laughs> it, Grabbed a message 22. Please report to security immediately. No, I, I, I won't. Um, it's time to make the cheese. So, if you remember, there's there's a beaver there. Um, we asked our loyal Leisure Suit Larry fans what they most wanted to see in the next Larry game, and here it is. Yeah, a st stuffed beaver. Uh, we can. Milk it. You love the feel of a good beaver, don't you, Larry? Yeah, it's another Easter egg. <laughs> but that's um, that's not how we get the the milk. We're going back into the there. Oh, there's a lot of stuff there now. My goodness. Uh, look. This stage is a veritable vaudevillian's graveyard where talentless acts go to die. The jugs must have lost the electric chase lights from their clothing in the frenzy of our passionate lovemaking. Either that or their batteries run down. Yeah, the poor jugs. Can we pick them up? What are you going to do with those? 666, that's a nice score. There's more here. What is that? There's dildo. Oh my god. No. No. That's the remote control the sound engineer uses to turn on and off the jug's electric clothing. Oh, okay. I want that. There's a remote possibility you could use that. Um There's a mixer. You haven't seen a mixer like this since you ran sound for that rock band back in high school. Hey, I kind of want to touch this, so... Well, what's this? The sound man left his earplugs lying under the mixer. It's another Easter egg. Right. Um... It's time for us to order another cocktail. Because we got to go back into... Into the dressing room. To get a nice reward. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just hurry up, man. There? Come on in, honey. Oh, mama, not again. Yep. That's a thing. Hey, loser. You want this drink you ordered? I'll charge it to your room. Thanks. Hey. My bananas. Yeah, we know. We know. <laughs> All right, we're done here. Uh, let's go to the uh, poop deck. Horseshoe competition. I see yeah, you there. Baby. So, three more. What is that? That looks yellow? That's Insert a card slot. Your Thiesman trophy scorecard into this slot whenever you're ready to compete. I think I am. Uh, where's my scorecard? Oh, it's even soft. Okay, play the game. Wow. What? What the Why hell? Not just quit. 
You suck. <laughs> we do. Um, let's go to do not there. Exit the horseshoe area without okay. Oh, disgusting. I hope that's my card. I hope so too, because yeah, we gotta go there. Your attention, please. Bill has just won the all-night disco marathon competition. Okay, we're gonna climb up here. And remember the spike? We are going to use those. I think I can just barely reach it from here. It looks... It looks so good. All right, let's try it again. Use our scorecard because this time. Uh, we get some more horseshoes, but this time we're going to win because that thing is going to be magnetic. So let's use this. Watch out. And then we can play the game. Ding, ding, ding. Schlung. Congratulations. Another ringer. Yay! We won. Let's take our card back. Uh, I hope that's my card. I hope so, too. Your attention, please. Larry Lapper has just won the horseshoe tossing portion of the competition with a record high perfect score of 100 points. Congratulations, Larry. You really stuck it to him. Uh, I know. Thank you. Uh, this, that's not where I want to be. I want to be there. I am the walrus. Yeah, baby. Cuckoo, cuckoo. 